Bindu, a short story written by Ritu Khora and Vanita Bai. The story is about a famous Indian painter, Raza. I really liked the story and I thought of narrating it to everyone. This is a story about a little boy, Raza, who discovered a whole new world through a dot. Raza grew up in Kakaya, a small village in Madhya Pradesh, surrounded by a forest. He loved to wander among the trees, playing with the sticks and picking up leaves along the way. He marveled at the textures and the colors of nature. Soon, like everybody, he was sent to a nearby school. But his heart longed for the forest and the open air. He tried to listen to his teacher but always ended up doodling in his book. One day his teacher caught him doodling. Raza, said the teacher, what are you doing? Raza was quiet. Hmm, you are not paying attention. You are getting distracted. I will teach you how to focus on one thing at a time. The teacher picked up a chalk and drew a dot on the wall. Now keep looking at the dot. Raza looked carefully at the dot. He made a similar one on a wall at home. For hours he would sit and stare at the dot. Soon he began to look for dots in everything he saw. He found that everything in the world begins as a small dot, like a seed which grows into a tree. Raza is inspired by shapes. He uses them generously in his paintings. Shapes are his friends. They play together, live next to each other. A square often holds the bindu while another frames the picture. Diamonds point up like pyramids or rain down like arrows. Rectangles and triangles fill the edges as if to complete the jigsaw puzzle. Raza brings all that he observes in the universe into his paintings. He loves to paint the Panchatattva, earth, water, fire, air and space. Raza uses five colors to create different shades. White, yellow, red, blue and black form his primary Rangmala. Raza grew up to be a famous painter. He made several paintings with a dot, which he called Bindu.